Hi friends, welcome to Plexus Ortho. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar and today we are going to discuss an important topic for your NEET, PG, FMGE and INICT exams. So we are going to discuss a topic called as extracapsular and intracapsular fractures of the proximal femur. So this is an offer, often recurring theme in your exams. They would ask about intracapsular and extracapsular fractures, what type of fractures, how to differentiate between them and how to manage them. So we are going to go into how to differentiate between these extracapsular and intracapsular fractures in a short video today. So what are intracapsular fractures and what are extracapsular fractures? Uh, intracapsular fractures are basically fractured neck of femur. Fracture necks, neck of femur fractures are called as intracapsular fractures and they are fractures occurring inside the capsule of the hip joint. Capsule uh, fractures occurring in the portion outside the capsule is called as extracapsular fracture or the most common of these is the intertrochantric fracture. What is the intertrochantric region? You know we have a lesser trochanter and we have a greater trochanter. So fracture extending between the lesser trochanter and greater trochanter is called the intertrochantric fractures. So, uh, so there is a vast difference in how we manage the extracapsular fracture and how do we manage the intracapsular fracture. Intracapsular fractures in older age patients have to be replaced whereas extracapsular fractures have to be fixed with a DHS or a dynamic hip screw and or a PFN that is a proximal femoral nail. So you can place a plate like this with a screw like that and that is called as a DHS. A PFN is an intramedullary nail that is placed through the uh, shaft of the femur and this is called a proximal femoral nail or PFN. Whereas intracapsular fractures have poor uh, healing potential and therefore you have to replace the head rather than trying to fix it in older individuals. So because there is a vast difference between the management in these two different types of fractures, that is why you have to differentiate clinically between these two fractures. Now let us look at all the differences between these fractures. So what are intracapsular fractures? They are fracture neck of femur. Extracapsular fracture is basically outside the capsule is usually an IT fracture and intracapsular fracture is usually a neck of femur fracture. Intracapsular fracture occurs in slightly younger age group between 50 to 70 whereas extracapsular occurs in slightly higher or older uh, geriatric population that is between 70 to 90 years of age. The sex uh, uh, predilection is both the fractures are more common in female as compared to male whereas the extracapsular fracture is far more or the male predilection is higher even though female is more than male the male predilection is higher in extracapsular fractures what is the mechanism of injury usually intracapsular fracture is a trivial injury whereas an extracapsular fracture is a higher energy trauma so what do you mean by a trivial injury they fall from a standing height whereas in case of extracapsular fracture it's a slightly higher level of injury so remember the word extra in extracapsular all the features are extra that means shortening, rotation, pain, swelling, all these are extra or higher as compared to the intracapsular fracture. That is a mnemonic that you have to remember to differentiate between these two um, injuries. Extracapsular has all extra as compared to the intracapsular injuries. Pain is present but it is present at a higher level or more severe in case of extracapsular fractures. External rotation in intracapsular is less whereas in extracapsular fracture it is more because why the uh, external rotation is stopped by an intact capsule in intracapsular fracture whereas there is no capsule to stop the external rotation of the leg in extracapsular fractures. So remember extra external rotation is seen in extracapsular fractures. You have shortening which is also less than one inch in case of neck of femur fractures is more than one inch in case of intertrochantric fractures. External, uh, external swelling and uh, hematoma is there but it is less but it is more in case of IT fractures. Straight leg raising can be done in garden type 1 fracture where there is an impaction of the fracture. You can still raise the leg in neck of femur fracture but in all cases of IT fracture no straight leg raising can be done. Greater trochanter tenderness is uh, less in case of 
neck of femur fracture is much more in case of extracapsular fractures. These are some of the differences between intra and extracapsular fractures. The main differences are shortening and external rotation is lesser in uh, neck of femur fracture and it is more in IT fracture. So extra, everything is extra in the extracapsular fracture. Don't forget that, right? So let us look at uh, a couple of classification systems for the neck of femur fracture. You don't have to remember any classification system for the IT fracture. So for a brief uh, recap, this is the greater trochanter, this is the neck of femur, this is the head, and this is the lesser trochanter, and this is the shaft of femur. So this is the GT, this is the LT, lesser trochanter. Fracture going through in between them is called as an IT or extracapsular fracture, whereas a neck of femur fracture is called as a neck of femur fracture is called as an intracapsular fracture. So neck of femur can be classified. The major classification systems that they ask you in your exam is the Gardens classification system. In the Gardens classification type 1, you have an incomplete fracture. Only type 1 is incomplete. All the other type 2 and 3 and 4 is complete fractures. Don't forget that. Type 2, 3 and 4 is complete fractures. In type 1 incomplete fracture therefore this is called type 1 without any displacement or just just there is bending of this thing it is called type 1 fracture in type 2 is complete fracture but there is no displacement complete fracture without displacement is called as garden type 2 complete fracture with partial displacement partial displacement is called as garden type 3 and complete fracture with full displacement is called as type 4 fracture so incomplete fracture type 1 all the other fractures are complete 3 2 3 and 4 are complete complete with no displacement complete with partial displacement and complete with full displacement there is another video with the management of these fractures which we will discuss in more detail so what is the second classification that we can use it is called the powell's classification it is based on the angle of the fracture in powell's the more acute the angle the better it is right because there is compression between this fracture and this fracture and therefore healing can occur whereas the more obtuse or the, the angle keeps on increasing there is shearing because there is vertical shearing of the fracture rather than compression if it is like this there is compression if the fracture angle becomes more and more vertical there is shearing so more the angle the poorer the prognosis remember this prognosis so anything less than 30 degrees is good prognosis. Anything more than 70 degrees has poor prognosis. And this is called as Powell's classification. P-A-U-W-E-L-S. Powell's classification. So there are two classification systems used. Garden classification system and Powell's classification system. Don't forget about this. Then let us see three questions. Uh, these are... Um, teasers so that you understand this concept very well we will discuss more and more questions as we go along so the first question here which was asked in aims november 2017 a 75 year old male patient so as i said 70 to 90 years it fracture is higher so it should direct you towards an it or extra capsular fracture after a fall from the bathroom had a fracture seen in the radiograph so here you can see the radiograph you can see the lesser trochanter here you can see the greater trochanter here fracture line is passing through these two trochanters and therefore this is an it fracture or an extra capsular fracture the capsule is somewhere here right so it is outside the capsule so what will happen there will be higher pain there will be shortening which is more than that neck of femur fracture there will be external rotation more than neck of femur fracture greater trochanter will be tender patient will not be able to do straight leg raising test so these are some of the things which are distinct from neck of femur fracture so what will be the position of the lower limb so we know this very answer straightforward you don't even have to look at the options you straight away know the answer from the uh, previous slides that is shortening and external rotation that is the position of all it fractures shortening and external rotation so the first option is the right option of course let us look at the other options shortening and adduction may happen but external rotation is a better op better answer right extended abducted and external rotated rotated this is unlikely to happen so this is not the answer abducted until rota internally rotated never so therefore you can rule out all the options with internal rotation so we know straightforward the answer here is shortening and external rotation so that should be very clear to you let's go to the second question 
which of the following is not a common complication after intracapsular fracture of the proximal femur which is not a common complication of the intracapsular fracture of the proximal femur so intracapsular fracture means it's a neck of femur fracture i have not discussed this but it is very obvious whenever there is a fracture in the inside the capsule the healing potential of the fracture is less because it is bathed by synovial fluid the blood circulation is poor another joint another bone which is having poor uh, union because of a lot of cartilage present around is scaphoid bone another bone which is also difficult to unite is talus bone so these are the three bones in the body which have poor union potential that is neck of femur talus and scaphoid so let us look at one uh, each one of these complications displacement is less than extra capsular fracture very true there is less shortening and less external rotation in neck of femur fractures or intracapsular fracture mal union is a more compli common complication no mal union is more common with it fractures or extra capsular fracture whereas non union is more common in neck of femur fracture so this is the correct answer let us look at the other options the contour of greater trochanter is normal yes because the greater trochanter is not involved in an intracapsular fracture tenderness is mainly present in the joint line yes because it is an intracapsular fracture in extracapsular fractures the tenderness is present over the greater trochanter right so the correct answer here is mal union is more common no the answer is non union is more common so this is the false statement now let us look at the last representative question for this uh, topic which of the following describes grade 2 fracture neck of femur this was asked uh, in neat 2012 so they asked grade two fracture in garden classification which i have missed out i apologize for that so what is a garden classification we have 1 2 and 3 and 4 garden's classification grade 1 is incomplete fracture grade 1 is incomplete fracture grade 2 3 and 4 is a complete fracture grade 2 3 and 4 is a complete fracture in grade 2 there is no displacement in grade 3 there is partial displacement and in grade 4 there is complete displacement so let us do a recap of that in grade 1 or garden type 1 it is an incomplete fracture garden type 2 it is a complete fracture with no displacement garden type 3 is a complete with partial displacement and garden type 4 is complete fracture with completely displaced Uh, fracture so therefore this garden type 2 is complete with no displacement let us look at it so garden type 2 is a complete fracture with undisplaced neck and that is the answer for this question so you must never get these questions wrong hopefully and uh, hopefully this clears some concepts regarding extra capsular intra caps and intra capsular fractures and uh, hope uh, you like this video thank you for watching my name is dr kanan kumar and this is plexus ortho thank you